Next, that government report on unexplained aerial phenomena, what the rest of us call UFOs, analyzing a slew of mysterious incidents reported by Navy pilots. But does it shed any new light on what's really out there? Here's ABC's Ike Ajachi. Oh my gosh, dude. Wow. Hey, hey. Tonight, the long-awaited intelligence report on these mysterious sightings by naval aviators, raising more questions than answers. Whoa, let's get close. The nine-page declassified report just delivered to Congress, reviewing at least 144 incidents of unexplained aerial phenomena, or UAPs, since 2004. There's a whole fleet of them. The report, finding only one was identifiable, a large deflating balloon. The other 143, the intelligence community unable to explain. The report doesn't use the words alien or extraterrestrial, but a senior official telling ABC 18 of the UAPs do appear to have some sort of propulsion or other technologies that could be advanced. Experts calling the preliminary report a historic moment. We've now turned the conversation into, into one that is no longer speculation about if these things are real. We know they're real. The question is, what are they? The Pentagon announcing new steps to standardize the reporting and analysis of UAPs all across the military. Whit? Ike, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.